have done well, mortal. You again. Some advice. A healer never likes to see the same face twice. Farewell. Welcome. Do come in. You must forgive my lack of hospitality. The Maid of Windermere and her minions have left me in a bit of a situation. Preth and Ermer could offer no remedy, but perhaps your mortal ingenuity will prevail where others have failed. Surely you know the songs of Sir Kreth and Sir Ermer, faithful friends and night hands who recovered the Sword of Rydurk. Ah, but it's likely you know them from two knights and a troll. That is certainly their most popular ballad. They were here only moments ago, and I sent them after the villain who did this. My hopes for rescue go with them. The maid paid me a visit this past evening. She and her accomplice, Nyx the Troll, stole my most prized cairns. All that work, and for what? With what I know, I should have expected an attack. Even this imprisonment spell. It is the same she used in the ballad of two knights and a troll. I can't recall the counterspell, of course, as that cairn was stolen. You must get them back, mortal. All of them. Especially the one you came for. It is a tale of what happens when one wishes to become something he has not. In this case, the subject of the song was Nyx, the troll. A loathsome, pitiful brute. As a jest, the Maid of Windermere enchanted Nyx into believing he was an ordinary man. He attempted to settle in a quaint mortal village to predictable disaster. When the knights Kreth and Aramur arrived, they treated him like the man he longed to be. They challenged Nyx to a gentlemanly duel and slew him in fair combat. They were designed by Father Atair, a mortal, and I worked with Hallam the White to fashion the enchanted cairn shell itself. Quite a discovery they are. It took more than a season to conceive of, and then create the first working cairn, but it has been worth all my efforts. Our songs of summer are safe for now. It is a form of magic new to our kind, a creation of our own Hallam the White. It is what he and I have been doing here in the library these past few seasons. Lore stones have become a common magic among the young races. They are readily made, changed, and defiled. We Fae need a new currency of telling, a new way. The Echo Stone and the Fae Cairns are the latest in a series of experiments, as Hallam and I seek a way to protect and perpetuate our greatest songs. The Great Collection was commissioned by Lord Isa himself, but it was Hallam the White who championed its creation and who crafted the Fae Cairns. As long as the library and its many cairns remain, the Songs of Summer will have a place in this world, being sung again and again for an eternity. I am Tenwa, formerly a Knight of the House of Ballads. Many seasons ago, I was asked to give up my post and come here to work on the Fey Cairns. Hallam has trusted me with protecting the catalog of legendary summer feats. I guarantee that every song is sung as it should be. She is the Witch Magware, sworn enemy of our great house and Enchantress Supreme. She will do anything within her power to win the love of our brave King Wenson. As it is now, and as it has always been, she preys upon the wild and stupid to reach her goals. But something is different this time. She is growing ambitious. As in his ballad, Nyx ran when he saw Kreth and Ermer arrive. He is clearly under the maid's curse and may be doing her bidding. 
He ransacked the cottage and made off into the night, his gigantic arm piled high with fey cairns. My fey cairns. Her nearest lair is Sunder Caverns, where her minion Nyx makes his home. It is a craggy pit in Haxi, east. See you soon. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 
We in the House of Ballads have earned the right to perpetuate the telling. You, mortal, have no such rights. It is no foul trick to find yourself one of the chosen few. It is not a jest or a game or a trifle. It is a responsibility to be undertaken with dread caution. No dustling has ever fallen in with the ranks of the court. So far, our banner has fallen. My true name is Trek, and I am the first and only one to have acted in the role of Sir Kreth. He was the sternest of heroes. He had no taste for pageantry and decorum. Ermer and I have sworn allegiance to one another first and foremost. When his sword draws blood, mine is soon to follow. It has been so for seasons. Goodbye. Well, well. You truly fit Hallam's description. It's nice to finally gaze upon the new Sagral. I am Sir Ermer. This is my companion, Sir Kreth. Ah. Welcome to Sunder Caverns. If you come in search of the Maid of Windermere, I must disappoint you. She's nowhere to be found. I am Sir Ermer at your service. My oath-bond brother and knight-hand Kreth and I were the knights who returned the flaming sword of Rydark. I believe that there is no higher calling than the House of Ballads. We are all that stands between glory and complete anonymity. It was the fabled blade used to beat back the Bolgan during an incursion many seasons ago. Kreth and I still argue over which of us the blade truly belonged to. He is my shadow, always there when I need him, and his courage never falters. We are one. When ballads call for Sir Ermer, Sir Kreth will be close behind. Well, you wish to know about the storyteller? Ha! Not even I know the ballads of Hallam the White. His telling is the most secret of all, and he's worked hard to keep it so. Well, that being said, I have complete trust in his judgment, even about you. You too? Well, I managed to find one, but there are plenty more. The maid had them. She was here one moment, but gone the next, as is her way. She did leave behind her old ally, Nix the Troll, to give us a bit of trouble and slow our pursuit. Kreth and I have fought Nix more times than I dare count. You could say he's an old friend. If you're interested in joining our little hunting party, feel free. Thank <laughs> you. 
close aggro. Don't bother me. I'm not your brother. Not yet. Fight well and perhaps I'll look upon you with fresh eyes. Oh, I could kill him if I wished to.
But that is not how the song is sung. Have you any other stupid questions? Goodbye. That wasn't so terrible now, was it? Still, I'm baffled as to why Nyx was outside Sunder Caverns. It was surely not to play his part in the coming ballad. There's more going on here than Creth and I are party to, and I want to know what. We'll speak again back at the House of Ballads. And Sagro, thank you. These are times of change, and we all must be in our guard. Goodbye.